This is a partial list of people pardoned or granted clemency by the President of the United States. The plenary power to grant a pardon or a reprieve is granted to the President of the United States by Article 2, Section 2, Clause 1 of the Constitution. The only limits mentioned in the Constitution are that pardons are limited to federal offenses, and that they cannot affect an impeachment process. The President shall have power to grant reprieves and pardons for offenses against the United States, except in cases of impeachment. Though pardons and reprieves have been challenged in the courts, and the power to grant them challenged by Congress, the court has consistently declined to put limits on the president's discretion. The president can issue a full pardon, reversing a criminal conviction along with its legal effects as if it never happened. A pardon can be issued from the time an offense is committed, and can even be issued after the full sentence has been served. The president can issue a reprieve, commuting a criminal sentence, lessening its severity, its duration, or both while leaving a record of the conviction in place. Additionally, the president can make a pardon conditional, or vacate a conviction while leaving parts of the sentence in place, like the payment of fines or restitution. Approximately 20,000 pardons and commutations were issued by U.S. presidents in the 20th century alone. Pardons granted by presidents from George Washington until Grover Cleveland's first term 1885 were handwritten by the president. Thereafter, pardons were prepared for the president by administrative staff requiring only that the president sign it. The records of these presidential acts were openly available for public inspection until 1934. In 1981 the Office of the Pardon Attorney was created and records from President George H. W. Bush forward are now listed. George Washington President George Washington pardoned, commuted, or rescinded the convictions of 16 people. Among them are Philip Vigil or Weigel and John Mitchell, convicted of treason for their roles in the Whiskey Rebellion. John Adams Federalist President John Adams pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 21 people. Among them are David Bradford, for his role in the Whiskey Rebellion John Fries, for his role in Fries's Rebellion, convicted of treason due to opposition to attacks, Fries and others were pardoned, and a general amnesty was issued for everyone involved. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Democratic Republican President Thomas Jefferson pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 119 people. One of his first acts upon taking office was to issue a general pardon for any person convicted under the Sedition Act. Among them are David Brown, convicted of sedition under the Sedition Act of 1798 because of his criticism of the United States federal government, receiving the harshest sentence of anyone, pardoned along with all violators of the act. Benjamin Fairbanks, convicted with Brown of erecting a liberty pole in Dedham, Massachusetts. He received the lightest sentence of anyone under the act. <laughs> James Madison Democratic-Republican President James Madison pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 196 people. Among them are William Hull, while governor of the Michigan Territory, sentenced to death for surrendering Fort Detroit, pardoned Jean Lafitte and Pierre Lafitte and the Baratarian Pirates for past piracy, granted due to their assistance during the War of 1812, granted February 6, 1815. <laughs> James Monroe Democratic-Republican President James Monroe pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 419 people. Among them are Numerous individuals convicted of piracy. <laughs> John Quincy Adams Democratic-Republican President John Quincy Adams pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 183 people. Among them are Captain L. O. Helland, arrested for having more passengers on board the vessel restoration than were allowed by American law, pardoned 
Wekau and Chikonchich, Ho Chunk leaders pardoned for their role in the Winnebago War. <laughs> Andrew Jackson Democratic President Andrew Jackson pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 386 people. Among them is George Wilson, convicted of robbing the United States mails. Strangely, Wilson refused to accept the pardon. The case went before the Supreme Court, and in United States v. Wilson the court stated, A pardon is a deed, to the validity of which delivery is essential, and delivery is not complete without acceptance. It may then be rejected by the person to whom it is tendered, and if it is rejected, we have discovered no power in this court to force it upon him. As such, rather than serve a sentence of 20 years Wilson was executed by hanging. <laughs> Martin Van Buren Democratic President Martin Van Buren pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 168 people. Among them are William Leon McKenzie, violation of American neutrality laws, pardoned. Topic. William Henry Harrison Whig President William Henry Harrison was one of only two presidents who gave no pardons. This was due to his death shortly after taking office. Topic. John Tyler Whig President John Tyler pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 209 people. Among them are Alexander William Holmes, sailor convicted of voluntary manslaughter U.S. v. Holmes, pardoned. <laughs> James K. Polk Democratic President James K. Polk pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 268 people. Among them are John C. Fremont, convicted by court-martial of mutiny. Fremont later became the 1856 Republican candidate for the presidency of the United States. Gideon Johnson Pillow, convicted by court-martial of insubordination. <laughs> Zachary Taylor. Whig President Zachary Taylor pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 38 people. <laughs> Millard Fillmore Whig President Millard Fillmore pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 170 people. Among them is Daniel Drayton and Edward Sayers, convicted in the Pearl Incident, transporting slaves to freedom, pardoned. Franklin Pierce Democratic President Franklin Pierce pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 142 people. Noah Hansen, a free black man who was tried and convicted of assisting slaves to escape, only known presidential pardon of a black person for Underground Railroad activities, convicted in 1851, pardoned in 1854. Topic. James Buchanan Democratic President James Buchanan pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 150 people. Among them are Brigham Young, pardoned for role in the Utah War. Daniel Vandersmith, a former judge, pardoned for forgery. Topic. Abraham Lincoln Republican President Abraham Lincoln pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 343 people. Among them are 264 of 303 Dakota Indians who attacked white settlers in the Great Sioux Uprising of 1862. Clement Vallandigham, Copperhead congressman sentenced for disloyalty, sentence commuted, and deported to the Confederacy. Various men who enlisted in the army, but who were, among other circumstances, underage, bounty jumpers, or AWOL.
Topic: <laughs> Andrew Johnson. Democratic President Andrew Johnson pardoned about 7,000 people in the over $20,000 class by May 4, 1866. More than 600 prominent North Carolinians were pardoned just before the election of 1864. President Andrew Johnson pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 654 people. Among them are Ex-Confederates, a full and unconditional pardon and amnesty to all former Confederates of the Rebellion on Christmas Day 1868. Earlier amnesties requiring signed oaths and excluding certain classes of people were issued by both Lincoln and Johnson. Among them were Charles D. Anderson Richard H. Anderson Eli Metcalf Bruce Horatio Washington Bruce Charles Clark Jefferson Davis Harris Flanagan Augustus Hill Garland Benjamin Harvey Hill Wade Keyes Enoch Lewis Lowe Andrew Gordon McGrath Eugenius Aristides Nisbet James Byram Owens Walter Preston James Seddon Alexander H. Stevens George Trenholm Samuel Arnold, charged with conspiring to murder Lincoln Samuel Mudd, charged with conspiring to murder Lincoln Edmund Spangler, charged with conspiring to murder Lincoln <inaudible> Ulysses S. Grant Republican President Ulysses S. Grant pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 1,332 people. Among them are Ex-Confederate leaders, all but 500 former top Confederate leaders were pardoned when President Grant signed the Amnesty Act of 1872. <inaudible> Rutherford B. Hayes Republican President Rutherford B. Hayes pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 893 people. Among them is Ezra Haywood, an anarchist convicted of violating the 1873 Comstock Act, pardoned after six months. <laughs> <laughs> James Garfield Republican President James A. Garfield was one of only two presidents who issued no pardons. This was due to his assassination shortly after taking office. Topic. Chester A. Arthur Republican President Chester A. Arthur pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 337 people. Among them is Fitz John Porter, court-martialed for his actions at Second Bull Run, sentence commuted. Topic. Grover Cleveland Democratic President Grover Cleveland pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 1,107 people during his two, non-consecutive terms. Among them are James Brooks, Texas Ranger indicted for manslaughter, pardoned after lobbying from his fellow Rangers Roger Clausen, convicted of polygamy, pardoned David King Udall, convicted on perjury charges, spent three months in prison, full and unconditional pardon. Billy Wilson David L. Anderson outlaw, pardoned. Topic: <inaudible> Benjamin Harrison. Republican President Benjamin Harrison pardoned, commuted, or rescinded the convictions of 613 people. Among them are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, granted amnesty and pardon for the offense of engaging in polygamous or plural marriage to members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints LDS Church. <laughs> <laughs> Grover Cleveland See list under first term Topic. William McKinley Republican President William McKinley pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 918 est people. Among them are 
Alexander Mackenzie, contempt of court, pardoned. Charles Chilton Moore, jailed for blasphemy, pardoned. Topic: <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt. Republican President Theodore Roosevelt pardoned, commuted, or rescinded the convictions of 981 people. Among them are. Servilano Aquino, Filipino general received death sentence for anti-American activities in the Philippines, pardoned after two years. Al Jennings, sentenced to life in prison for robbery, pardoned. Stephen A. Douglas Puder, convicted of land fraud, pardoned after 18 months so he could turn state's evidence. <laughs> William Howard Taft Republican President William Howard Taft pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 758 people. Among them are John Hicklin Hall, role in the Oregon land fraud scandal, pardoned Charles W. Morse, convicted of violations of federal banking laws, pardoned due to ill health later found to be feigned Captain Van Schaik, pardoned after three and a half years in prison for the General Slocum steamship disaster of 1904. Woodrow Wilson Democratic President Woodrow Wilson pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 2,480 people. Among them are George Burdick, a New York newspaper editor, who had refused to testify in federal court regarding the sources used in his article concerning the collection of customs duties. He pleaded the Fifth Amendment. President Wilson then granted him a full pardon for all of his federal offenses, which he refused. He continued to plead the Fifth, at which he was sentenced by a federal judge for contempt. It was then that the Supreme Court reinforced the necessity of accepting a pardon to be valid. The federal judge had imprisoned Burdick on the grounds that he was claiming falsely his need for protection against self incrimination. Frederick Kraft, convicted for alleged violation of the Espionage Act. Only person convicted under this law to receive a full executive pardon. <inaudible> Warren Harding Republican President Warren G. Harding pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 800 people. Among them are Eugene V. Debs, convicted of sedition under the Espionage Act of 1917, sentence commuted Kate Richards O'Hare, convicted of sedition under the Espionage Act of 1917, sentence commuted. <laughs> Calvin Coolidge Republican President Calvin Coolidge pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 1,545 people. Among them are Marcus Garvey, convicted of mail fraud, sentence commuted and deported Lothar Witzke, German spy and saboteur, pardoned and deported. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Herbert Hoover. Republican President Herbert Hoover pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 1385 people. Among them are Warren T. McRae, governor of Indiana convicted of mail fraud, pardoned after learning of the KKK's role in his arrest and conviction. Thomas W. Miller, conspiring to defraud the U.S. government, pardoned. <laughs> Franklin D. Roosevelt Democratic President Franklin D. Roosevelt granted 3,687 pardons in his four terms in office. Among them are George R. Dale, convicted of violating prohibition laws, pardoned after the repeal of prohibition Roy Olmsted, convicted for violating the National Prohibition Act, appealed, arguing that the wiretapping evidence used against him constituted a violation of his constitutional rights to privacy and against self-incrimination. U.S. Supreme Court upheld the conviction in the landmark case of Olmsted v. United States, pardoned Duncan Rinaldo, arrested for illegal entry into the U.S., pardoned. Harry Truman 
Democratic President Harry S. Truman pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 2044 people. Among them are George Caldwell, income tax evasion, pardoned Oscar Colazzo, Colazzo attempted Truman's assassination, commuted death sentence to life sentence, also see listing under Carter James Michael Curley, fraud and mail fraud, pardoned Richard W. Lecce, mail fraud, pardoned Andrew J. May, accepting bribes, pardoned Seymour Weiss, tax evasion and mail fraud, pardoned 1523 people convicted of violating the Selective Training and Service Act of 1940, full pardon. Dwight D. Eisenhower Republican President Dwight D. Eisenhower pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 1,157 people. Among them is Maurice L. Schick, military court martial for brutal murder, death sentence commuted to life imprisonment, with the condition that he would never be released. Legal challenge went to the Supreme Court, questioning the constitutionality of the punishment. Life imprisonment without parole. Decided in Schick v. Read that to be so sentenced was constitutional, it is important to note that, until the Eisenhower administration, each pardon grant was evidenced by its own separate warrant signed by the president. President Eisenhower began the practice of granting pardons by the batch, through the device of a master warrant listing all of the names of those pardoned, which also delegated to the Attorney General or, later, the Deputy Attorney General or Pardon Attorney authority to sign individual warrants evidencing the President's action. <laughs> John F. Kennedy Democratic President John F. Kennedy pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 575 people. Among them are First-time offenders convicted of crimes under the Narcotics Control Act of 1956 pardoned all, in effect overturning much of the law passed by Congress. Hank Greenspun, editor and publisher of the Las Vegas Sun, who was convicted in 1950 of violating the Neutrality Act in shipping arms to Israel during the Israeli War of Independence, full pardon 1961. John Factor, scheduled to be deported. Pardoned in 1962 after investigation by Robert Kennedy Hampton Hawes, heroin charges, executive clemency in 1963. <inaudible> Lyndon B. Johnson Democratic President Lyndon B. Johnson pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 1,187 people. Among them are Frank W. Boykin, former Alabama congressman convicted of bribery, pardoned in 1964 at the request of departing Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy. Maurice Hutchison, former president of the United Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners of America, held in contempt of Congress in 1957, pardoned. <laughs> Richard Nixon Republican President Richard Nixon pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 926 people. Among them are Jimmy Hoffa, convicted of fraud and bribery tax evasion in 1964 sentence commuted with conditions on December 23, 1971. Angelo DiCarlo, convicted of conspiracy to commit murder and extortion in March 1970, was pardoned in late 1972 due to poor health, died on October 20, 1973. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald Ford Republican President Gerald Ford pardoned, commuted, or rescinded the convictions of 409 people. Among them are Richard Nixon, granted a full and unconditional pardon just before he could be indicted in the Watergate scandal. This was the first, and only, time that a U.S. president received a pardon. Ernest C. Brace, pardoned of his 1961 court-martial from the United States Marine Corps in light of his almost eight years as a POW in Vietnam. Eva Togari D'Aquino, a.k.a. Tokyo Rose. Convicted of treason in 1949, paroled in 1956. She was pardoned on January 19, 1977, Ford's last day in office. 
the only U.S. citizen convicted of treason during World War II to be pardoned. Robert E. Lee, full rights of citizenship were posthumously restored. Vietnam War draft resistors, Ford offered conditional amnesty to over 50,000 draft resistors. Maurice L. Schick, military court martial for brutal murder, commuted to life with the possibility of parole. <laughs> Jimmy Carter Democratic President Jimmy Carter pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 566 people, and in addition to that pardoned over 200,000 Vietnam War draft dodgers. Among them are Oscar Colazzo, attempted assassination on President Harry S. Truman in 1950, commuted to time served G. Gordon Liddy, Watergate figure. Convicted for 20 years, commuted after serving four and a half years in 1977 for conspiracy, burglary and illegal wiretapping. Peter Yarrow, singer-songwriter of Peter, Paul and Mary, had pleaded guilty to a morals charge involving a 14-year-old girl in 1970, was pardoned in 1980. Vietnam War draft resistors, unconditional amnesty issued in the form of a pardon. Jefferson Davis, President of the Confederate States of America, was arrested and accused of treason in 1865. Charges were brought in 1968, but was absolved of any guilt for participation in the Civil War by President Andrew Johnson's Fourth Amnesty Proclamation on Christmas Day of that year. Posthumously pardoned. Patty Hearst, convicted of bank robbery in 1976 after being kidnapped and allegedly brainwashed, sentence commuted in 1979. Lolita Lebron, Rafael Cancel Miranda, Irving Flores Rodriguez, opened fire in the U.S. House of Representatives and wounding five congressmen in 1954, clemency. Frederick B. Ingram, heir from Tennessee, convicted of bribing government officials in Illinois in 1977, jailed for 16 months. His sentence was commuted by Carter in December 1980. Ronald Reagan Republican President Ronald Reagan pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 406 people. Among them are Mark Felt and Edward S. Miller, FBI officials convicted in December 1980 of authorizing illegal break-ins and fined. Pardoned on March 20, 1981. Mark Felt later in life admitted to being Deep Throat, the informant during the Watergate affair. Marvin Mandel, former governor of Maryland convicted of mail fraud and racketeering in 1977, granted clemency in 1981, conviction later overturned in U.S. District Court. Junior Johnson, a former NASCAR driver convicted of moonshining in 1956, pardoned in 1986, George Steinbrenner, was convicted of illegal Nixon campaign contributions and obstruction of justice in 1974, pardoned in January 1989. <laughs> George H. W. Bush Republican President George H. W. Bush pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 77 people. Among them are for their roles in the Iran-Contra affair Elliot Abrams Dwayne Claridge Claire George Alan Fires Robert McFarlane, National Security Advisor to President Ronald Reagan Caspar Weinberger, Secretary of Defense under President Ronald Reagan Armand Hammer, CEO of the Occidental Petroleum Company, contributed $110,000 to the Republican National Committee just before his pardon. Pardon for illegally contributing $54,000 to Richard Nixon's presidential campaign in 1972. Myra Sobel 1957 Conviction of conspiracy to receive and obtain national defense information and transmit same to foreign government in the Rosenberg spy ring, served four years, pardoned in 1991, died one year later. Topic Bill Clinton Democratic President Bill Clinton pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 459 people. Among them are, Almond Glenn Braswell, nutritional supplement magnate, convicted of mail fraud and perjury in 1983, pardoned Henry Cisneros, Clinton's Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor count for lying to the FBI in 1999 about payments to a mistress, and was fined $10,000. 
Roger Clinton Jr. brother of Bill Clinton. After serving a year in federal prison for cocaine possession. John Deutsch, Director of Central Intelligence, former provost and university professor, MIT. He had agreed to plead guilty to a misdemeanor for mishandling government secrets on January 19, 2001, but President Clinton pardoned him in his last day in office, two days before the Justice Department could file the case against him. Edward Down Jr. convicted of wire fraud, filing false income tax returns, and securities fraud in 1992, pardoned Elizam Escobar, Puerto Rican artist and activist, convicted of seditious conspiracy in 1980, pardoned FALN, commuted the sentences of 16 members of FALN, a violent Puerto Rican terrorist group that set off 120 bombs in the United States, mostly in New York City and Chicago. The 16 were convicted of conspiracy and sedition and sentenced with terms ranging from 35 to 105 years in prison. Henry O. Flipper, the first black West Point cadet was found guilty of conduct unbecoming an officer in 1882. Posthumously pardoned. Patty Hearst, convicted of bank robbery in 1976 after being kidnapped and allegedly brainwashed. Prison term commuted by Jimmy Carter and was released from prison in 1979. She was fully pardoned by Clinton in 2001. Rick Hendrick, NASCAR team owner and champion, convicted of mail fraud in 1997, pardoned Susan McDougall, partners with Bill Clinton and Hillary Rodham Clinton in the failed Whitewater Land deal. Guilty of contempt of court, she served her entire sentence starting in 1998 and was then pardoned. Samuel Loring Morrison, former naval intelligence officer, convicted of espionage and theft of government property in 1985, pardoned Mel Reynolds, former Democratic member of the United States House of Representatives from Illinois. Convicted of bank fraud and obstruction of justice in 1997, sentence was commuted. Mark Rich, Pincus Green, business partners, indicted by U.S. attorney on charges of tax evasion and illegal trading with Iran in 1983 and fled the country that year. Pardoned in 2001 after Rich's ex-wife, Denise Eisenberg Rich, made large donations to the Democratic Party and the Clinton Foundation. Dan Rostenkowski, former Democratic member of the United States House of Representatives from Illinois, indicted for his role in the Congressional Post Office scandal and pleaded guilty to mail fraud in 1996. Served his entire 17-month sentence, then pardoned in December 2000. Fife Symington III, Republican governor of Arizona convicted of bank fraud in 1997, the conviction was overturned in 1999, subsequently pardoned. <laughs> George W. Bush Republican President George W. Bush pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 200 people. Among them are Jose Compan and Ignacio Ramos, two U.S. Border Patrol agents who wounded drug smuggler Osvaldo Aldrete de Villa on February 17, 2005 and tried to cover up the incident received commutation in 2009. John Forte hip-hop singer and songwriter sentenced for smuggling cocaine in 2000 was commuted. Louis. Scooter. Libby, assistant to President George W. Bush and chief of staff to Dick Cheney was convicted of perjury in connection with the CIA leak scandal involving members of State Department who outed CIA agent Valerie Plame. Was sentenced to 30 months in prison and fined him $250,000 on June 5, 2007. Libby received commutation of his prison sentence, not a full pardon, on July 2, 2007. Libby later received a full pardon from President Donald Trump in 2018. Isaac Robert Tusi, convicted of making false statements to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development in 2001, pardoned in 2008 and the pardon revoked one day later. Charles Winters, posthumous pardon for smuggling three B-17 Flying Fortress heavy bombers to Israel in the late 1940s. Barack Obama Democratic President Barack Obama pardoned 212 people and commuted the sentences of a further 1,715 people. Among them are James Cartwright, retired United States Marine Corps four-star general, he pleaded guilty to giving false statements to federal investigators in 2016 and was awaiting sentencing. Pardoned on January 17, 2017. 
Dwight J. Loving, a U.S. Army private sentenced to death for murdering two taxi drivers in 1988. Commuted to life without parole on January 17, 2017. Chelsea Manning, U.S. Army whistleblower convicted by court martial in July 2013, sentenced to 35 years in prison for providing classified documents to WikiLeaks. Commuted on January 17, 2017. Willie McCovey, professional baseball player, pleaded guilty to tax evasion in 1995 and received two years probation and a $5,000 fine. Pardoned on January 17, 2017. Ian Schrager, former co-owner of the famed dance club Studio 54, pleaded guilty to tax evasion in 1979 and received three and a half years in prison and a $20,000 fine. Pardoned on January 17, 2017. Oscar Lopez Rivera, FALN member sentenced in 1981 to 55 years in prison for seditious conspiracy, use of force to commit robbery, interstate transportation of firearms, and conspiracy to transport explosives with intent to destroy government property, and subsequently to an additional 15 years for attempted escape in 1988. Commuted on January 17, 2017. Donald Trump As of July 10, 2018, Republican President Donald Trump has issued seven pardons and four commutations Joe Urpeo, former sheriff of Maricopa County, Arizona, was convicted of contempt of court and was awaiting sentencing. Pardoned on August 25, 2017. Sholem Rabashkin, an Iowa meatpacking magnate sentenced to 27 years in prison for bank fraud in 2010 after what many considered an overzealous prosecution. Commuted on December 20, 2017. Christian Saucier, a former U.S. Navy sailor convicted of unauthorized possession and retention of national defense information in 2016. Pardoned on March 9, 2018. Lewis. Scooter. Libby, convicted of perjury and obstruction of justice in connection with the CIA leak scandal. Pardoned on April 13, 2018, following an earlier commutation by President George W. Bush in July 2007, shortly after his conviction. Jack Johnson, a champion boxer who was convicted in 1913 while traveling with his white girlfriend for violating the Mann Act, which made it illegal to transport women across state lines for immoral purposes. Posthumously pardoned on May 24, 2018. Dinesh D'Souza, author and documentary filmmaker, convicted of campaign finance violations in 2014. Pardoned on May 31, 2018. Alice Marie Johnson, first-time drug offender sentenced to life without parole in 1996 for conspiracy to possess cocaine, attempted possession of cocaine, and money laundering. Commuted on June 6, 2018. Dwight Hammond and Stephen Hammond, ranchers convicted in 2012 of two counts of arson on federal land. Commuted and pardoned on July 10, 2018. Topic. See also Federal pardons in the United States